Is my massage therapist judging my legs double? Hi, I'm Becky Maurizio here with Carrie Baywell, a massage therapist of five years, and we're back here in our therapy room. Massage is really all about you, but after thousands of sessions, Carrie and her fellow massage therapists have learned some things that the rest of us can really benefit from. So Carrie, please share with us. Thanks, Becky. So first of all, we don't care about your legs double. Unless you've just shaved, everybody has some. We don't mind, so you shouldn't either. Okay, so worry about relaxing, not about the hair on my leg. I will try. Good. So next, we think your perfume smells lovely, but after an hour of working in close proximity to it, it can be a little overwhelming. As a courtesy to your therapist and the next client who may have allergies, we'd prefer if you went a little easy on the fragrances. Okay, a small thing that people probably are not really aware of. What else? So communication is key during a massage, right? Yes. That doesn't mean that you need to chit chat during your massage. If talking helps you relax, of course have a conversation. If there's a discomfort, we want you to speak up, but don't feel obligated. Because it is your massage after all, so speak up, it's whatever you prefer. Exactly. The last thing your therapist wants you to know is be on time. Your therapist doesn't want to rush you or cut your session short, and I'm sure you don't want that either. Arriving 10 minutes early helps you relax and unwind from your day, and it sets the mood for your massage. Okay. Well, if you are a massage therapist who wants to share your wisdom, please post to this video or on our Facebook page. Thank you, Carrie, and thank you for watching. Have a healthy day.